Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Portable Tuesday. And more Kingdom Hearts. So, I got a new TV today. Shoutouts to Andy, a co-worker of mine who sold me this. Uh, it is a much larger, uh, first of all, uh, it's 4K TV. Uh, this is not in 4K for, for multiple reasons. Um, I have to go through, the way my setup works right now, The everything's traveling through three separate HDMI cords, and now all of them support 4K. So there's that. Um, there's also, um, I don't know that this game is, uh, supported in 4K, but, um, it's all, I mean, this is also going through the capture card, so I'm not sure I could get 4K through that. I'm quite certain that my capture card doesn't support that. But anyhow, uh, because of this new setup, though, I am... Experience. I have an audio delay in my ears. Uh, it should sound fine to you, but yeah. Um, everything, like from what I'm seeing, everything I hear is delayed by about a second, and it is going to drive me nuts. But them's the brakes. So, but we're back to Terra, and uh, we're revisiting the uh, Castle Dreams world. So. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. Huh? Uh -huh. Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. Strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. But I... I... Huh. Unversed! If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here, and here I am. Oh, come now, dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are, but we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it works in the movie. It's a beautiful... 
beautiful dress. Huh? Why, it's a dream come true. Yes, but like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. I gotta say that uh, Cinderella, I think, was the first live-action remake of the original, like, cartoon version. Her heart was full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you know that she believes, and that will help you to believe, too. Yeah, Tara. Why don't you just believe? Uh-huh. Clearly going to solve all of your problems. Semi-satirical. Semi uh, jab aside. Uh, I was saying uh, that uh, that Cinderella movie was actually uh, pretty good. Um, it was mostly like I, I I considered it worth watching for eye candy. But now we also have the Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin remakes that you can do that with. So Cinderella exists. If you really want to watch it, I would stop it. It's a fine story. I did appreciate that um, they gave the uh, stepmother some a little bit more background to kind of better uh, describe why why she's so uh, not nice. So did appreciate that. Anyhow. For some reason, I still feel like I'm straining my eyes while I'm playing this. I shouldn't have to strain my eyes. It's quite a large screen that I'm looking at. It's gotta be, it's at least a 40 something inch. No? That doesn't seem right. Where is it? All right, all right, all right. Cease that nonsense. Um, might be for you exactly. I don't know, I mean, it's not like it matters a whole lot. It's, it's big, bigger, bigger than what I had anyway. I'm sure. Several of you that might be watching. Are you learning? I really don't feel like I need it. So 4K is a nice touch. I, mean, I was kind of one of those like 4K skeptics. 
you know, like 1080p is plenty. Why do we, why do we, need, we, why do we need 4K Ultra HD? Me, 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 me. Stupid me. Look, uh, the, I just, I looked at the, just the basic menu screen. It was like, whoa, that looks so much better. And it's not even to say that it looked bad before. It's better. I've been a Nintendo fan for quite some time, and uh, let's say that the graphics aren't exactly their primary concern. So, never really needed 4K specifically, or certainly anything close to it. But now that I've seen it, it is very much appreciated. Salvo's mixed out. Cool. Let's finish Ragnarok. 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 Just kind of testing my mic sensitivity. Just there. Sorry if that peaked the mic. Oh, let's see. What else is going on here? Austin. Where's the sticker? It's a cone. That's neat, I guess. Alright, enough of that nonsense. So the hardest part about my set up when it comes to so moving. Um, I'm probably still going to use the smaller monitor when I'm recording, uh, only because um, one of the trickiest things is to get um, audio in my ears that's synced up with uh, the gameplay uh, that also records properly the video. And the reason that that's so difficult excuse me, is because like I said, if I just uh, have my head headset plugged into the computer that I'm hooked up to for recording, I get a delay about, a, a, that's about like, it's like a full second. It's a, it's a major delay. Like, if we're, like, if we're talking, like, online gameplay, if I had this much lag in an online game, I would never, ever, ever be able to play it properly. It's very, very noticeable. Um, so, uh, so I can't plug the head, just plug the headset into the computer, necessarily, if I want it to sync up, but then, hold on. Not here, too. I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um. All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. Oh, let's see again. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so, so the other side of the problem yeah. that if I want the headset to sync up properly uh, in my ears, um, then I have to, Make it I have to more or less, hey, 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 leave her alone, um, 
I essentially have to plug directly into the, the device. The problem then is that um, the sound for the recording, uh, you know, it's coming through, through the HDMI. With the PlayStation specifically, you know, the Switch is a little less tricky in this regard. Well, I mean, those are the two main ones that are recording. Um, the, uh, Take that. the thing is, what, if, so like, with most, you know, in most cases, uh, you would end up uh, plugging the headset in to the controller for direct sound. But when I do that, uh, it's pulling the audio through the controller and not sending it through the HDMI anymore, which means that no gameplay audio gets recorded as I'm capturing my gameplay when I plug my headset directly into the controller. So I would be hearing everything, but you would not. That's no good either. Ow. I'm trying. Please help. Stop moving. Alright, girl, let's move. Let's go. Anyway, so right now I'm putting up with the audio delay. I'm not terribly happy about it, but I'm surviving. Um, my uh, permanent solution uh, will be um, I found, after much digging and hunting, I found a special type of cable that basically splits the audio. So I can direct it to my ears and directly through the capture card without um, no, without that. so I get the audio sync and it also records it properly. Uh, but I don't know exactly where that cord is right now, so. I will search for it and hopefully have it by, uh, let's see, when do I need it? By Modern Friday. Really? Wow. Oh, thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara. The, uh, the PSP limitations kind of show their uh, uh, weak points. Maybe just believing is enough. Mm, maybe. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nora. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. <laughs> Unversed. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? <clears throat> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. Please, don't don't question him at all, Grand Duke. Just just let him just let him go. Never seen him before, but he's clearly trustworthy. Doesn't look any different than any of her other subjects. His outfit is clearly standard. 
practice in this uh, this area this area of the world. Area of the world. Not, not suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Just let him roam free in the castle. Just go for it. This Grand Duke is clearly not concerned with national security. Build a fence! Is that old? Is that is that an irrelevant joke to make now? I don't know. I don't really care. Yeah. 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 Did I just unlock that level? Or that that uh finisher? Yes, I did. What he he held. Now this is this this makes this this bothers me bothers me right so I've got these two finishers un unlocked okay but I made no progress towards that one what am I supposed to do to unlock that why doesn't anything tell me that <laughs> which means if I want to hundred percent this game which I do at some distant point down the line, because I'm not that brave. Uh, uh, if I want to 100%, I officially have to look it up. Because it's not telling me what I need to know. That's a shame. I wanted to melt stuff. Oh. Yeah. Uh, now what? Uh... Ow! That started as a yawn. And then it became a dislocated jaw. Ouch! boss time. So.
possibly be. I'll take care of this. So not only does he trust a total stranger, he has no idea where his guards are. King? Prince? Somebody? Fire the Grand Duke! He is sloughing off his jaw. Alright. Sloughing off. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Bugle's dead. Drum's going down next. Evil. Everybody knows that. Next up is Cello. Because cellists are clearly just cocky, cocky little piece, pieces of garbage. Obviously. Take that. You're done. Wow, that was embarrassing. I guess. Okay. Well. I must got used to critical mode when playing this game, because that was just pathetic. Thank you. You saved us all. <sighs> <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. Oh! Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe... Uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Mm. Well, um, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait, come back. Please come back. I'm sorry. Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Aqua! Well, hello, Aqua. Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua, you still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself.
boy, him. Oh dear. Excuse me while I throw pens across my room. All right. So, oh. about this one. Alright. So, at this point... We know that the monsters have are, are very closely tied to that boy in the mask. We know the boy in the mask is tied to Xehanort. So go figure, creepy guy with the golden eyes and silver beard is, is, seems to be the bad guy. Go figure. Of course, if you don't know any, anything about the rest of the series, you ought to know that by now anyway. So no big surprise there. But, stuff is starting to get interesting. Like, that guy that we saw uh, Master Xehanort speaking with, he's going to be important. So, stay tuned. Next time will actually be uh, kind of neat. Uh, we're finally, finally moving on to our third character with Aqua. And it's going to take, it's going to start literally just a few moments ago uh, with her bumping into Terra. So, you can see that one more time. Uh, that one little snippet, and then we uh, get, we get to get put we get to some aqua quality time. Um, that should be fun, especially because that's the one that's on critical mode. So that's going to be not easy. So make sure that you uh, do those YouTube things you're supposed to do. Hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment with some thoughts, suggestions. I don't really care. Leave a comment. Um, and as always, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when the next video is up. Uh, and you can personalize those uh, those notifications too. So if you only want to watch the Kingdom Hearts stuff, that's every Tuesday. Another way. Another way. And wow. Clearly, I need to work on my communication skills. At any rate, that's what I was trying to come up with. I am no prob Rob, and I will see you tomorrow for PC Wednesday and more Half-Life. Yay.